now that that's now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and work on some audio recordings while my house is quiet. <laughs> yes, honey. Because I, I try to do it when the kids are here and it just doesn't work out. All right, so let me, I'm gonna, I wanna do this one first. Trusty phone, guys, I love my phone. Um, I'm gonna use that for my audio. Okay. All right, so let's see. Let me get in to this one. This one I put on um, my inspirational leadership page. So what we can do, dear, 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 dear. It's doing its thing. Is it six minutes or be right back? Chicken. Coming, chicken. Are you coming? All right. Okay. <sighs> me, 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 me. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So the microphone is really good. I don't have to pick it up. Or I could pick it up. Maybe that'll help it sound a little bit more rich. All right. Actually, what I have to do right now, let's put that on airplane mode because <sighs> I don't want any interruptions. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. There is so much power in language. Words definitely ignite. It's the way in which you communicate with yourself that determines your path, journey, and destination in life. Stop saying you want to make your dreams come true. Wake up, breathe life into your dreams, and say you will make your goals come true. Stop saying you're waiting on God. Be honest and say you've been using God as an excuse for you not doing what God put you on earth to do. Stop watching other people be magnificent as you watch in awe from a distance, praising their abilities. Recognize the abilities within yourself and display them instead. My mother would always tell me, they have theirs and you have yours to get. With that being the case, let's get what we want in life and stop waiting for it to come to us. Stop being afraid to admit you are a God, little G. You may not be the God, big G, but because God created you, by default, you are a mini God. Don't say you are a child of God, but don't claim your rightful position as God embodied. Stop doubting your potential, but instead recognize your potential and nurture your potential so that you are so that your potential feeds your desires in a way that brings your visions into existence. Stop living with the limits bound by fear and uncertainty. But instead, start living without limits and believe with 100% certainty that you have every right to stand in greatness. Stop looking for flaws in the next person, but instead evaluate who you are and adjust your flaws accordingly. Stop blaming your mistakes on being human, but accept your mistakes as experiences that strengthen your spirit. Wake up in the morning with an intention and take advantage of the 24 hours given to you to live with intention. But don't stop there. Understand with full knowledge what you intend to do. Use your internal navigation to guide you in the direction you need to go. If you get off course, allow your spirit to reroute you and keep going. 
When you are blessed with wisdom and encouragement, rejoice in it, but don't get lost in it. Adhere to your inner spiritual coaching. Apply the lessons of life bestowed upon you during times you did not expect it to. Don't get caught up in a hate rally with those who have no intention of standing big for you. Allow love to embrace you with light so that you can blossom fully over and over again until you become a bouquet of success. Believing is not enough. Knowing in your heart with unwavering certainty is the only way you will trust yourself and know it can and will be done. There is no such thing as risk. Nothing is a risk. Fearing risk is a false irrational fear because the only way something is a risk is if you are scared of the outcome. When you are not fearful of the outcome, you can be rest assured the outcomes will be great beyond measure. Written by myself, Dawn Beckner, inspirational leader and empowerment coach. Please feel free to visit www.dawnbeckner.com. That's D-A-W-N-B-E-C-K-N-E-R.com. Thank you. Bye. Until next time. Boom. Okay. Let me make sure that recording is you know, okay, now I can get yeah. it. All right. Okay, beautiful people. All right. Let's do this one. This one is entitled, Your Truth Versus Your Lie. Okay. <sighs> I need some water or something. Hold on, I need some water. I'm not going to get dry. <laughs> you got some lemonade instead. Is that my chicken? Has that been six minutes? Hold on. All right. Just turn the chicken down. Just turn the, the chicken down on low a little bit. Let it cook just a little bit more because you don't play with chicken like that. You gotta make sure it's cooked. Mmm. Lemonade. Love it. Okay. Your truth versus your lie. The truth is you are powerful. The lie is you are powerless. The truth is you can do all things. The lie is that you don't know how. The truth is you were born with gifts and talents. The lie is you don't know what those gifts and talents are. It's funny. How some people hate to be lied to, yet they walk around earth lying to themselves. Some would take offense if denied access to somewhere that they know they have the right to be. Yet they deny themselves the right to be bold, courageous, and mentally free. If you don't walk in your truth, you are walking in a lie. If you are walking in a lie, you are going in the wrong direction. Some of you are walking in a lie so bad that you're dragging your feet. Pick up your feet, walk in your truth, and arrive at your desired destination. Some may say they don't know how to get to their desired destination. It's okay if you don't. Simply tap into your spiritual navigator, tell the universe what you want, and the universal satellite will beam you the directions if you need them. If you, at that point, it's up to you to listen to your heart. Thank you so much for listening. This is Dawn Beckner. That is an original writing by myself. And um, you can go ahead and visit www.dawnbeckner.com. I am your inspirational and empowerment coach. I look forward to um, sharing more of my um, writings with you. And if you like it, then go ahead and subscribe. And that way I can see you more. Thank you for listening. Bye. Did that.
Is the chicken, is it still? Be right back. 